This is just one of the things when you are young and you haven't made it yet. Everything around you doesn't support you as much as they should. If you're talking about countries who have done well in sports, the identification of the talent and nurturing the talent are the most important aspects of sports. In our country, sadly, we wait for somebody to become a hero, worship the hero, talk about his whole journey only when he has become the hero. So imagine if somebody who has worked the same amount and couldn't be the hero, you will not want to talk about the person. Only when somebody becomes something, in our nation we try to celebrate the person. And it's, I'm not just blaming the media, it was just a, a, a reference. But it's very, very important when somebody is trying to become something, we have to give the person, he or she, adequate amount for him or her to achieve. I'll give you a small example. When I was young, my father was in army. So we had very limited budget. If we salary, we have a lot of money. 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 We So at that time, and I'm sure, and I'm sure a lot of people over here have the same problem. So at that time, if I tell my dad, I need a new studs. I know what's going to happen in the house. He might do it, but I know how much problem my house is going to have. So I just stitch my shoes and play with the same shoes. So when I was growing up, I couldn't afford shoes. And I had to stitch my shoes every time to play. Now, for the last nine years, I'm Nike sponsored. I get every boot that I want. I have 30 boots every time they send me. But today, I can afford it. Today, if I want, I can buy Nike. But today, they send me everything that I want. It's just a small example of how things can be a little bit different. If, if at every stage, we have a proper way of supporting the kids who not only play sports, but in every sphere of our life, things will be so much different. It will be so, so much different. I know I'm talking to you all, but two minutes or. Because we're talking about parents, and I'm sure there are a lot of parents over here, even teachers are parents. Please do not stop your kid from coming to you and expressing what he or she wants. But you, sh you all, we all, should be open enough for our kid to come and tell us, Mom, Dad, this is what I want. Uske baad you can discuss and say, you know what, this is not right, this is not wrong, this is not right. But if your kid cannot tell you what he wants or she wants, then trust me, we are failing as parents. If a child can't tell you this, Mom, Dad, I want this, I want to become this, I then there is something really wrong with our parenting. If he has a very good thing and you have understood that it's not right, it's not right, that's the secondary thing. But if he can't tell you that he can't tell you that he can't tell you that he can't tell you, then there is something really wrong. Because whatever the kid wants, if you go to that child and play, play music, or whatever you do, acting, you will see how happy the kid is. How tremendously happy a kid is. When I was young, I was going through this phase where I wanted to be a Shah Rukh Khan, a Tendulkar, a Leander Pace, a Baichim Bhutia, because all kids, jitne bachche yahan par hai, we all go through this phase where we want to become everything. But I had the freedom to go and talk to my mom and dad and they were absolutely genuine to hear me. They gave me their advices and that's why I was a very confident kid.